Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building a world. Okay, so just to go through to you guys, as soon as we know the game, I'll also just place a reminder on that. What's happening? What's that? Well, that was not good. Already boots on the ground? <laughs> they didn't even try, okay. Oh, I did not change the beard. Looks not good, I'll have to fix that. That face wonders so a lot. God damn it. Yeah, no shit, you just landed on your face, bro. I would exactly want to exclamate the same thing. Just a lot less gaudy, just a lot more like damn it. Done. It's a T T seven now. I think. Oh, look at that! <laughs> so just to explain, I've got a bit of an interesting setup with this game, so it's going to be more focused on motion. As you can see, there is crosshair. Um, and injuries are bad, of course, like in this case. Um, but the enemies are normal. I personally feel like you can add more difficult enemies to this game, and it would not make that I still 
one thing about the new that I've always had to pass. It's very easy to do this. If you're gonna make something kind of amazing, make it up. Cool part about this game is play at my I hear more movement towards that way, but I'm... Maybe, I don't know. I've never tried to like salvage weapons from other people in my life. Shit. Damn. My soldiers. Yeah, they're kinda not okay, eh? As a guy, this is definitely gonna be a multi-series like with me just playing through the gameplay. I see some no way to go. Very bad. Serious immersion. There we go. I have a grenade. Where I actually saw two enemies earlier. Taking a bike or a car? I didn't know what to take it. It takes more cover. I don't know why that's important to me. So there's two windows in the screen. So, this is new to me. I 
because this is a game about shooting stuff and being a menace in the society of evil people or something. There you go. Let's have a look. Stop right there! Ooh, you got a flashlight. Don't Who are you? Me. I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another party. one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense. You know, just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. What if they break in? Just a question. And what's Erewhon? A cave. So we call it. Get in. All right, man. I'm, I'm going. You look a little pissed. I will put my gun away. And, um... Turn my back on you, run all the way downstairs, and uh, be one of those guys. What is this place? Yeah, that's a very interesting question you just asked. Everybody is kind of trying to figure it out while you're asking or something. Hello, Evil Down. How you doing, ma'am? Aloha, aloha. This is not Hawaii, but we will... I don't, know, I don't know much island, so no. Better than a beef shot. Are you boys alright or what? That's still just English, but yeah, no, let's not go into that. We're well, the you only two left stuff? in our chalk. You broke your nose. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. That's enough. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. Kinda of pretty. My mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? For now, you're dealing with me. Yeah. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying yeah. to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago overall went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law. <laughs> Using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Skaltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but... his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys Somewhere needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Who's Calm him down, yeah? Looks like the same gun that I and have then come find the me. DMR for. That's pretty I'll nice. give you the guided tour. Four well, there you guys can have it. We have our first yeah, little gameplay done and dusted. Really nice. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna end it there today. Really, really, really cool game so far. Very quickly, just in the immersive world. Now I'm gonna just put a pause on it, come back to it, then we'll start facing our first few missions, figuring out what's going on here on Aloha and what this place is all about. Peace! Baby,